get out with every character. Leave your heart. Take out. Amazing. Pierce in the heart. We pierce in the chest. We pierce in the heart, in the chest. In the heart, in the chest. No depression becomes a portion. All the depressions. Mighty Jesus Christ. All the depressions out of their chests. Out of their chest, out of their hearts. Do not the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Time is up. You'll never travel oh. here anymore. You'll never travel here. Get out. You command every general body pain. Hey, you're making noise. I'm busy this side. Shut up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get out! Darkness. Out of your life. You separate from him. You separate from him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. chest in that hand we declare the soul of the spirit stand up tell me how are the pains now, how are you feeling in your body check the pains, how are you feeling how are you feeling now how are you feeling, how are the pains you need no huh? it's only on the waist now just on the waist, the whole body is fine it's on the waist, yeah check all those pains now, how are you feeling now how are you feeling now? How are the pains? Oh, I need. Separate completely. Separate completely. You live here? Completely separate from here. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's the headache now? What's the headache? It's oh. better, Papa. Do you feel the headache now? I'm better. You're better. And then the, the waist? How are you feeling? How are you feeling now? Yo. What's the pain doing now on the waist? Check now. What's the pain doing now? The yeah, wait. The pain is still there. What's the pain doing now? What's the pain doing now? What's the pain doing now? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's the pain doing now? Do you feel the pains on the waist? Huh? Yeah. You feel it deep, I just deep inside? Feel it deep inside. Yeah, wait. How's the pain now? How's the pain now? How's the pain now? Just a little bit left. Check again, how's the pain? How's the pain now? I'm fine. Is it a You're fine now, ne? Yeah. I'm fine, just the headache. How's the headache now? How's the headache? How's the headache now? How's the headache? I'm fine. You're fine. Go give it a testimony.
blessed viewers who are in Ravani Center Ministries. This is the year of the joy set before us by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We can see that there's a lot that is actually happening in Ravani Center Ministries. A lot of deliverances and healings and the breakings of generational curses. Now the man of God, Professor Soha Daniel, made a declaration about the mediatorial agent of divine judgment that are intervening in the lives of the children of God, setting things right in their lives. Our mother here is one of the people who were prayed for on the prayer line and she manifested we had to hear from her as to what exactly was happening and how was she affected mama could you please tell us your name and where you're coming from uh, my name is elizabeth i am from johannesburg during the prayer line you spoke to the men of god concerning the headache and the chest pains that you were experiencing could you please tell us how long has this been chest pain has been bothering you and also what came about this headache this headache, I think it is uh, because I do have a flu uh, and I don't know whether it's a flu or a tonsils. But anyhow, it comes and go, comes and go. And then uh, the, the the pains, these pains, are, uh, it's like they are old, an old man or an old woman in my body. So I, yes, that's the problem. And also concerning the depression part, could you please tell us what are the challenges that you're facing in your family? Uh, there was a funeral at home um, on the 5th of February. Uh, someone passed on in my family. So, I'm sorry. All right, ma'am. We'd like to hear as to now the full details as to what, are, what happened with you and the family and that person, how are they related to you? Uh, they are the family, his family. The family of Mali, so they are the one who stress me a lot because uh, uh, my husband passed on on the fifth, and we bury him on the eighteenth. You could see that it's it has been taken long in the mortuary, so I have to go and identify the corpse in pathologics in Hilbro. So only to find that the the the, the body is decomposed. It's like uh, I took time to see that. Is this one? It's like I, I didn't know it whether it was him or what because he was already green. Mm. So this image does it get out of your head or does it torment you? Yeah, I sh it torments me. Like it torments me because can you imagine to go and find a person who's already rotten? Yes. So it's not the the, the nice things to remember, like to recall. And concerning the family of Mali, how are they harassing you and your children? Uh, those people, they, they always come to my house. When they come to my house uh, during the process of um, a funeral. So you can imagine it took times from the 5th up until the 18th. So when they come to my house, they only want the meeting. And they just don't tell me that. They don't, they don't tell us that we do have a meeting. So they wanted to force me to, to, to be in my trust, uh, to pull to and they were to wear black things. Can you imagine? So I refuse. I tell them that, I don't do that. I'm a Christian. I cannot do something like that. Yes. And you also mentioned that there was someone in the family who wanted your husband's um, church uniform. Could you please tell us about the person? Yes. Uh, I don't know whether I can say is his brother or, or what, but he is a Sangoma. That Sangoma, um, he and uh, two children of my husband and his niece, they, those ones, they give me a problem. So one day, this Sangomas just came and he wanted his uh, uniform of his church. Then I refused, I, I was so surprised. Where, where exactly do you want to take that thing? Do you understand? Mm. Man, there are actually a lot of people who are facing troubles like this and most of them they don't even know where to go to get help. Some they end up giving in as Christians like breaking their faith because of their trying to just make peace with their deceased family. However, you stood on your ground, you stood on your faith and you and your child actually like you saying that you, the man of God ministered unto you or counseled you. 
Um, can we repeat the question again? Did you ever contact the man of God concerning the matter and what was his feedback? Uh, I did uh, contact a, a pastor. I, I don't know if I can mention him, her name. Pastor Irene. So he organized each and everything. And I, all I know that uh, Papa knew all about that because uh, on the funeral day, the disciple was there to support us. So It's a beautiful thing, actually. Yeah. So uh, to be a Christian, you have to, to don't compromise when you are a Christian because of other people telling you, you must do this, do this. And I realized that most of the, the Christian, they just curva wela because they wanted to make peace. So I choose God. I tell them then I'm a child that can't compromise. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of Jesus. So I believe in him. I don't remember um, uh, in a scripture saying that we have to retire any Laura. So we have to stood on the ground that this thing is wrong. And if you do that, that means I go and find the deliverance. No, well, thank you so much for such a beautiful encouragement that we should stand firm on our faith. Because truly, Mama, as you're saying, it's true. A lot of Christians, they give in and they sacrifice their faith just for the peace's sake. However, we thank you so much for standing your ground. This is a beautiful encouragement that when people are facing such problems, they should remain and hold on to the word of God. Blessed viewers, our mother was telling us that they had the family of her husband who had passed on. Actually, after the funeral, they were trying to force her to mourn in a way that it is not in a Christian manner like using ashes, wearing morning clothes, but she refused to perform those rituals because she had never seen that in the word of God or she had never heard of that anywhere else in the body of Christ saying that we should perform those rituals. We thank God for such a beautiful and strong faith and we trust the Lord that you have received your deliverance and healing from the headache. How do you feel right now in your head? Um, I'm fine really, like I'm fine. Papa is doing a great job. And then Papa is teaching us a lot. So how only a one hour a storm rider Utwa Mozile? Kita how Papa is teaching the word. Stick on it. Mm. And the chest pains, how do you feel right now? Fine. I'm really fine. That pain of 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 yes is gone today. It's gone. Let me go to Johannesburg, be okay. Um, <laughs> That's you. As she has just said, she's she's okay, yo. Our mother is okay, yo. Like the pain that has been tormenting her for years actually just got delivered today. Can you imagine? And I didn't even enjoy the, the the service because I was having a lot of headache. Like since the service started, I was sleeping. Like it makes I was just sleepy. Can you imagine? No. Ah, uh, storm rider. God is good, eh? And storm rider, he storm it. Now I'm okay. And you paid it, you were saying, our mother is healed. You can even see the joy in her face. Actually, there's nothing that actually hinders God. A lot of people, they think when you're sleeping, you don't hear the sermon. But when Papa said, when we sleep, we sleep in God, we sleep for God. After sleeping the whole service, she still got her deliverance and healing. Blessed viewers from Rawani Center Ministries, it is to God be the glory. Finish, finish. Out of the chest, out of the heart, separate from her. to separate completely from her. The time has come to separate completely from her life, from her body. You're finished. Your day has come and it's over. You'll never return to her life in Jesus' name. You'll never return. Stand up, what's her name? 
Yeah, check. How are you feeling? Check your chest. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? I'm fine. You're fine. God loves you. Get out! finished you never trouble her bye 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 my time is up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you'll never return to her you'll never trouble her you're finished in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to fall into your pit and you'll never return to this body. In Jesus' name. Stand up, Mama. Stand up. God loves you. Let's live for Jesus. Stand up, Mama. Stand up. God loves you. Are you to speak so careless? Who are you to speak so careless? I'm wasting my time. I don't care who you are, wherever you come from, wherever you come from, I come from heaven, I come from the kingdom of my father. No matter who you are, you'll never prosper against her. You'll never prosper against her. Leave! This is not the water world. This is not the water world. This is not the water world. This is not your child. You are too late. You are too late. Okay, let me call her my child and I take my child and I give it to Jesus to be the child of God. To be the child of God. I deposit her to God to be God's child. In Jesus' name. Let's live for Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. Come, come, come. Come quickly. How are you feeling? I'm fine. You feel good? Yes. Huh? Yes, I wanted to tell you that last year I had a dream. I was eating needles mm. and my... Because I'm thinking about, are you fine in the stomach? 
Yes, I'm fine. Uh huh. Yes, and my blood and water was being drained out, mm. and then I started to to be sick. I've been sick since last year. It's like you lose blood in the whole body. You feel weak. Yes. You walk sometimes like you're going to faint, and feel faint. something pulling, yes. pulling right mm. underneath. Yes. God. Not not from the womb, not from the anal hole, yeah, between but... the womb and the anal hole, yes. but feel like there's an, the third hole, if I can put that, yes. like it's pulling. Yes, yes. From under you. Yes. Huh? Yes. It's a pool and you feel your whole body gets. Get out! Get out! Amazing the most You are exposed. You'll never do as you wish. God has created the body. Get out! The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, you live here. You live here completely. You live here completely. You live here completely. You are exposed. You never travel. Stand up. Let's live for Jesus Christ. <laughs> check, check how you're feeling. You, you get what I mean? Eh? Yes. It's yes, like you feel the pulling and the pain goes deep inside. Yeah, inside. Not on the deep. womb, not on the anal, but it will be between the two. Yes, yes. And you ask yourself, what is happening with me? Mm. You get it, no? Yes. And you feel weak. Sometimes you walk, it's like you're going to fall. As if I will fall, yes. Sometimes Almost you eat, you're normal. You try to go to sleep. All of a sudden, your stomach changes. You can't sleep anymore. I can't sleep. You can't sleep. You stay the whole night. The whole night. And not I'm sleeping. always tired. Yes. Because you feel now, I want to sleep. I've eaten, but what wrong? What thing did I eat? I can't sleep. Did I eat something wrong? You try to drink water. You try to take this. Yes, I always, I always carry a bottle of water. Let's live for Jesus Christ. <laughs> so you try to drink water, you try to use water, but you find yourself... It's not working. Huh? It's not working. It's not working. I even go to the hospital for blood pains, and, I mean for pills for blood and everything, but they're not working for me. From today, you're going to sleep nicely. You are going to sleep like a baby. Let's give you rest. This is from rest. Giving you freedom. You sleep. You can start sleeping here. Sleep. Sleep. Just sleep. Let's leave you sleeping. Just to explain this rest. Let's leave you sleeping. Let's contest this sleep. So this sleep will fight what? What causes it not to sleep. So let us sleep now. We'll come back to here. Let us sleep. Let us just rest. Let's sleep for Jesus. So she always carries water, thinking that she will get help. But let us sleep now and find that it's indeed true that we should be happy when they say, let's go to the house of the Lord. Let us rest there. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. You see, it's just deep, deep, deep sleep. Come back. Come back. You can stand up now. Stand up. How are you feeling? Go rest. How are you feeling? I'm fine, Papa. Huh? I'm feeling fine. You're feeling fine now, no? Yes. Good rest. Huh? Yes, cleaning the mind. Because I was beginning to think maybe I'm staying in the wrong place. That's why maybe I'm not finding rest. And Please, can you speak louder? No, I'm saying I was beginning to think maybe I'm staying in a wrong place. That's why maybe I can't sleep. I can't find rest. Uh -uh. When you go where you're staying. <laughs> Bless you. You go with this. God loves you. How did you sleep now? I slept well. Even my mind is finding rest. You, you, you're good now, no? Because, yes, it, I was struggling from the mind for everything. Don't worry, God loves you. Okay. You're not a candidate of failure. You're not a candidate of things or spirits that interfere with people. God loves you, no? Nothing will interfere. Go with this or you sleep. Nothing will trouble you. You'll still bring your testimony. Go give your testimony.
Messiah's greetings viewers all over the world. You are watching RTV, where fulfillment is captured. We believe as you are tuned in, your life will never be the same again. You are watching the Friday Life Service. This is an all-night prayer. And our Father has been teaching the word, praying and ministering to many of our saints. And one of them was our sister, who asked for a prayer request on the prayer line where our Father prayed for her. She will firstly introduce herself, Tell us her name and where she is from. My sister, can you please introduce yourself to the viewers? Uh, my name is Jennifer Michelle and I'm based in Johannesburg. Amen, Je Sister Jennifer. Thank you so much. Um, can you please take us through the prayer request that you made to our Father during the prayer line? Okay, uh, my prayer request to the Father was that last year I had a dream and in the dream I was eating needles and then after that I saw blood and water was coming out of me like as if it was drained out of my body and from there I started to be sick experiencing body pains uh, in the heart also in the stomach yes it was very complicated which caused uh, my body to be very weak uh, and then I also went to the hospital uh, about the matter and then they gave me pills for the pills for blood. Yes, the, 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 the kind of pills that increases blood, but um, it didn't really work for me. And then until today when I decided to tell the father about this matter. Amen. And for how long has this been happening? It started the day I had a dream. It was last year, March 2023, 20, yes. And are you currently working? Yes, I'm currently working. And through what you've just explained to us, that you would have pains and weakness and experience weakness in your body, has that affected you in your working environment? Yes, it did affect me a lot because uh, the pains will just increase when I'm at work. It will start from the headache to the heart in the stomach and then I would have to ask from work to go home because sometimes it was really unbearable. I would have to stop working and go home for rest. Amen. And after our Father now prayed for you, how are you now feeling? very fine the pain completely stop uh, in the stomach in the in the heart i'm no longer feeling any pain at all amen we thank god for your life and for healing and delivering you from all that had that has been causing you to struggle and um what words can you say to god for healing and setting you free from all that which has caused you to suffer from March 2023 up till to date? I just want to thank the, Al the Almighty God uh, for using our Father today to pray for me and to deliver me from this matter. And I love how he went deep about this matter. So I just want to thank God. Grace, the grace of the Lord has located me today. I believe that um, the pains will not come back. I'm going to live and I'm going to work without any pain. There you have it, blessed viewers. Indeed, aid can only come in the presence of the Lord that when you need help, the presence of the Lord is where you can get help from. Indeed, we thank God for the life of our sister that after she had received prayer, from our Father, God helping her through the life of our Father, Papa Sikho Daniel. We thank God that she is now healed and we believe that she will bring more testimonies also of her performance at work. We thank God and as from us, it is to God be the glory. Amen. your properties take everything and leave him 
Fight. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Stand up. Move away from that one. She's sleeping. You're not sleeping. Go. My Jesus Christ. 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 You leave her. And you leave parts of a body that are not yours. You leave parts of a body. This is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You separate from me. My Jesus Christ. What's her name? Huh? Mina. Who? Mina. Mina. Mina or Mina? Mina. 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 Mm. Drink one. Give, give you one to drink. Give one. Hold one. Hold it. Don't leave it. Drink that one. Open your mouth. Let them give you. God loves you. So it's a minor issue, no minor. It's over. God loves you. Let's live for Jesus. <laughs> My name is Christ. 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 My Jesus Christ. Light. My Jesus Christ. My Jesus Christ. My Jesus Christ. My Jesus Christ. Huh? Understanding, please, of the word, please, Papa. More understanding of the word, please. God loves you. God loves you. Ne? What you're hungry for, remember it also comes with a desire. Those who desire to be, First Timothy chapter 3. Just live as he expects and you have all that you desire. Don't worry, God loves you. Ne? It comes with a desire. Ne? And I speak as you desire. for my applications at universities each and every time I'm having dreams that I study universities every time I'm having those dreams suddenly blocked and everything you see those dreams blocked but yes. who said you're going to fail Jesus has promised whatever blocks you <laughs> don't mind it 
Let your mind be God. You are not a product of failure. You are not a product of failure. So let's undermine what blocks her in a dream. She's not a product of failure. Look at her. Success. 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 Divine success. Divine victory. So what blocks it? We undermine it. She's not a product of failure. We declare divine success. As divine success enters, failure goes. Failure goes. Failure goes. Failure. Bye bye. Bye bye. Disappointment. Failure. Bye bye. You'll never come back to this body. You'll never return to your life. The mighty name of Christ. Mighty name of Christ. We pierce in that stomach. In that stomach, we remove failure. Failure put in that stomach. Failure put in that stomach. You leave her. You separate from her. You separate from her. Failure put in a stomach. Separate from her. Get out! The mighty of Christ. Failure in that stomach. Leave that stomach. Leave that stomach. Leave that stomach. Leave, 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 leave. You'll never trouble her again in Jesus' name. Stand up. Hello. 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 How are you? <laughs> What's your name? Ellen. Huh? I'm Ellen. Who? Ellen. Ellen. You know why I'm saying you're not a product of failure? Let's undermine that part because you're not a product of failure. It's success. So I want you to undermine those dreams because we cancel them now. Ne? I'm sending you visions and dreams from above. I'm sending you visions and dreams. I'm sending you with that which gives life. And this is what you dream now. You dream success that comes to pass in your life. Stand up. God loves you. Stand up. Stand up. Uh, you said your name is? Ellen. Ellen. I was fighting failure which was in your stomach. Ne? Huh? I was feeling the pain while they were worshipping Papa. In the stomach? Yes. Yes. So failure. It was failure in you. Let's live for Jesus. You're free. Ne? God loves you. Bless you. What's your name? Ellen. Ellen. Yes, Papa. Go and Ellen your testimony. Christ. My shame is Christ. Light. In Jesus' name, be flooded, all of you, with light. Light. My shame is Yeah. It's a yes in heaven. It's a yes in heaven.
of Jesus Christ. The mighty Jesus Christ. Before you go there, go give your testimony. Before you go there. There he goes. Before you go there. Let's live for Jesus. Before you go there. Before you go there. Before you go there. So somebody help her now. Lady. One lady. Take it and put it where I said she must put it. Uh -huh. So before she gives the testimony, it would have worked already. Before she goes and gives a testimony, it would have worked. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God commanded the blessing and he is really blessed. for Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. Huh? Pardon? I was constipated. You were constipated. What is constipation now? How are you feeling now? How are you feeling now? Huh? Empty. Empty. So, go give it a test. Before you arrive there, you're already blessed. Let's live for Jesus Christ. Bless you. <laughs> huh? My sister is hospitalized in Zimbabwe. She can't speak. She can't, she can't do anything. What's your sister's name? Nozita. Who? Nozita. Nozita. Yes. Just go give a testimony and raise this. Nozita. 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 Go. Go. Nozita. Nozita. Just try it. Before you arrive there, same as you. No, before you rap, Nozita gets to be touched. Say it, Nozita. Nozita. Ah! Uh huh. Try it. So, whoever is troubled, just say, My mother, my father, my sister, my daughter. Before you arrive there, it's done. For Nozita now, for the sister. For Nozita, for the sister. Don't worry, don't be surprised next time when you hear a phone ringing and you don't see a phone. Pick up the bottle and say hello. <laughs> Light shines for Nozita. Lord, you raise the dead. This is an anointing that breaks every yoke in Nozita's life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stand up. So, You'll check Nozita. God loves you. Thank you for thinking of your sister. Thank you for your love. Né? God loves you. Thank you. Go give your testimony. Oh, you don't stop. Okay, raise it for other people. Nozita and everybody in your family. Go. Oh, Gloria. Oh, there's Gloria. <laughs> yeah, go, go. Speak everybody, every name. Matilda. Gloria, Matilda. Charity. There they go. There they go. There they go. So never undermine this. You get it? Never undermine this. When you pray, raise it up. My spiritual life. Growth in my family. Prayer life in my family. Growth, growth. Just speak. Did you open it? This, even if you can finish the oil, it will work until Jesus Christ comes. God loves you, no? You can take your bottles. You speak to everybody. When their life changes, they must not forget you. If they forget you, they will be in trouble. Yeah, you can go give a testimony. 
Oh, you want even the scriptures? Okay. You get it, ne? God loves you, ne? Blessed views, we are in Ramani Center Ministries. This is the year of the joy set before us by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With me here is our sister who was ministered unto by the man of God, Professor Suha Daniel, during the prayer line. Our sister had her own problem, yet the man of God further went on to touch one of her family members. We are to hear from her as to what was happening and how was they affected. Could you please tell us your name and where you're coming from? My name is Piliswe Dube. I come from Cosmo City, that's where I reside, but I come from Zimbabwe. Where in Zimbabwe? Wange. That's a beautiful place. Uh, our sister, could you please tell us what was happening during the prayer line when the man of God prayed for you? Uh, when the man of God prayed for me, uh, I was constipated by then. So he prayed for me. Uh, when he prayed for me, um, he gave me two anointing oils and said, uh, one, I must put it on my chest. And then that's when I fell under anointing. Um, afterwards, uh, I, I, I asked for a prayer request from Papa that my sister is critically ill in Zimbabwe because she couldn't speak. She was unconscious for two days. Um, and then Papa said, um, I must drink the one anointing oil as I go and give my testimony. And I should hold them up and call my sister's name or call any member of my family. And I started calling my sister's name. Yeah. And also, the, the man of God prayed for your constipation. Could you please take us through that before we get to your sister? Okay. Um, this problem has been since 2022. I've been having this constipation uh, problem. So when man of God prayed for me, it's like, uh, it just vanished. Like, I feel so empty. Like, uh, empty, empty, empty. Yeah. Now, coming back to your sister, what is it that called caused her to be muted did she have an allergic reaction was there anything that happened to something that brought her shock what happened uh i was informed that um the doctor said that she had mal malaria yeah that's when she fell unconscious for two days and when the hospital that she was in was it a government hospital or a private hospital and how was this affecting you people financially uh it's a government hospital uh, it affected us because, as you know, that uh, hospitals in Zimbabwe, they do not have uh, uh, medication and you have to transport your own relative. Uh, so uh, it was a, a challenge and we all all traumatized by this situation. So I said, no, I know where I can get a permanent solution. That's why I came here on Friday so that I could go back with my testimony, of which I have already. Could you please tell us what really happened? Because, because we can see the glow on your face that actually something beautiful happened here. So we'd like to know actually what really happened. Um, it's like my sister was uh, unconscious. She couldn't speak. She couldn't do anything. And everybody was so traumatized about the situation. We all worried about what is happening because nothing like this has ever happened in our family. Someone to, be, to, to have malaria and be unconscious. It was my first time to hear about that. So it really, really troubled us. So I said to myself, you know what? I am going to Raponi. I That's where I will have my permanent solution. And when I came here, and when I said it to Papa that my sister is unconscious and Papa said, don't worry, just call upon her name. And when I did, uh, the Holy Spirit took over. Was she healed? What happened? Um, right now, after I gave my testimony, I, I went back to check on my sister's phone, my other sister's phone that I came with my other sister. Um, that's where I found out that my my very sister who is sick sent an and and an, an voice note saying that she is much better. Because she couldn't even speak, she couldn't even wake up, and they even sent us a video that she is now sitting up straight, she can now drink water, she can eat after the prayer. After the prayer. Yeah. Now do you have the audio in your phone? Yeah, I do. Could you please play it for us? 
Okay. Let blessed viewers, let us wait as she finds the audio. We can see that this only can be the power of God. Distance is not a barrier. Just calling upon someone's name, the person has just been healed. And just as the centurion man said, send the word and my servant will be healed. We will witness that and hear from her sister right now. Could you try to increase the volume for us? We we thank God of miracles who without even having to transport to someone to a certain area, without having to make transportational arrangements to bring them here to the house of God. Yet the word of God thunders and it has healed them. As we can hear the audio we can hear her voice that truly she has been healed. Now that you came here with faith, knowing that you're going to bring back your solid testimony and a permanent one. Now, how do you feel that God has attended unto your case and you've received your miracle that you believed for? Um, as it is the year of joy, the joy said before us, it is really joy for me. I am so joyful. I am so happy that the Lord has done it for me. The Lord has remembered us. The Lord has remembered my family. I am so happy. I am so happy. We bless the Lord for such a beautiful testimony. Blessed viewers, as you are watching, also believe that distance is not a barrier. With anything that is happening in Rabboni Center Ministries, take advantage of the atmosphere, get your blessings, and send forth your testimonies. From us in Rabboni Center Ministries, it is to God be the glory. <laughs>